Out one May morning, down by a riverside, there I beheld a bold fisherman come a rowing with the tide. Come a rowing with the tide, there I beheld a bold fisherman come a rowing with. I started fishing when I was up in Scotland. I was fishing off at west coast of Scotland on the prawn boats, Dublin Bay prawns, lobster, brown crab, things like that. The one that I've got now is an IP24, and uh, they're made in Isle of Wight. It's a good little sea boat, and uh, that's what most of the people use down here. Don't ask me why it's called the Suffolk, but it always has been. It's a, it must be 30 year old now. Made in 1970 on the Isle of Wight. Most of the fish are seasonal. It's like in the spring, we, uh, we'll probably get up at three o'clock, get out there for about four, and you might be steaming for an hour to get onto the fishing ground. Then you work your gear and you want to get back before you get a day breeze by lunchtime. Plus, the reason for going that early is like, if, if the nets have got a lot of crap in them, like spider crabs or full of weed or stones, whatever, it gives you that bit of extra time to get it all cleared before you get the day breeze at lunchtime and you want to be back in by then. Otherwise, it's like the summer, you, you get up early so that the fish ain't cooking on the deck. When, when the trawlers first started, there were places where they couldn't go, where they couldn't tow over because it had it over hard ground because of the rocks had snagged the trawls and rip holes into them. But nowadays, they've got things called stone mats and rock hoppers, and they can more or less fish wherever they want. And... They're literally ploughing the seabed. It's, it's the, the English Channel. If you look at it as a field, and a trawler is a tractor, then the English Channel is being ploughed four times a year. So nothing's going to grow. And it's a desert down there at the moment. We're being told that uh, next year we're not allowed to wash our fish inside three miles in seawater because of pollution. Also, the telling us that we need to carry disinfectant and uh, wash all the boxes out in disinfectant, wash the boat down in fresh water, and it's just bureaucracy gone mad, really. It's just uh, another thing to make it harder for, for us to work. There's something every year. I enjoy it when the weather's good. When I get up in, a, in the morning and I go out there and the sea's like a sheet of glass and you watch the sun come up back a beachy head there you can see beachy head light out, out in distance flashing away. And uh, you watch that sun come up and it, it's just something else. You look back at the shore and you see all traffic backing up from New Haven down to Brighton and you think, what a rat race, you know. I'm glad I'm out here. And then on the other hand, you know, you get up at sort of five o'clock in the morning in the winter, it's blowing a gale, pissing down with rain, and you think, oh, what am I doing, you know. And... Uh, your gear's full of shit and you've been had half your gear towed away in the night and you think, well, is it worth it? <laughs> and then before you know it, it's spring again, you think, yeah, it is. <laughs> so that's why I do it. It's great. That has offended me. I will take you to my father's house. And married you shall be, then you will have a boat fish.
fisherman to row you on the sea, to row you on the sea. Then you will have a boat, fisherman, to row you on the sea.